Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Celia. And today I thought I'd show you what I used in the month of March as far as my stationery supplies. Um, full disclosure, I do still buy stuff. I started doing this um, to just prove to myself that I do use my supplies, which I do if you look at this big mess, but uh, I know a lot of people do it to use their stash and not buy anymore. I've tried, but stationery brings me so much joy. I just can't stop buying. Um, but I am trying to be more minimal. So I look at this and I'm like, wow, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of waste. But at the same time, it allows me to be creative. So here we are. Um, I've got all these sticker packs I'm going to start with first from like big stickers that you can get on Amazon or Timu or um, Redbubble. And I th think, I'm not going to count these, but it's a lot. And I also decided I'm not going to save my sticker backs anymore. Let me get this. This is my little desk trash can. It's actually a basket that I got from Michael's. It's cute. Anyway, um, so I started saving stickers because that was one of, oh look, there's more of these. That was one of the um, monthly goals from um, Llama Letters, Cindy's uh, hashtag, use your stash or use your shit 2024. Um, so one of the monthly goals was to use a whole um, planner kit planner sticker kit. So I started saving my stickers and it's driving me insane. So I'm not doing this anymore, but look at all these sticker sheets I've used. I get lots of questions about my stickers. Mainly I buy them online from small shops. I like to support the small shops and I also like their unique designs. Oh. See, this is why I don't want to save these anymore. They're everywhere. Um, Fox and Pip. Pineberry Paper. Um, these are a sweet kawaii design. I have the Coffee Monsters Co. I have this is from Simply Gilded. These are actually Michael's stickers from a big sticker book. I took the pages apart. All right, stickers are done. I don't know how many pages there are, but there are a lot. What should we do next? Let's do glue sticks. So, I have six here. I feel like glue sticks don't last that long. For a while I was using double-sided tape, but I felt like that was expensive. So I said, I'll go back to glue sticks. They're cheaper, but I feel like I do a few pages and they're out already. All right, next we will do washi. So I, Another disclosure here. These weren't full rolls of washi. They're rolls I used up that were in my sash, but um, I do have a lot. So, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Um, 
and I have some different kinds of washi. Some had more on them to start. I think like this one was from Stationery Cow, I believe, because it doesn't say anything and it barely had any washi on it. So, and I use washi for my planners, for my kernels, uh, letters I write. I use washi in a lot of places, so I go through it. So don't feel bad if you don't use the same amount of stuff because really I feel kind of guilty for using all this stuff, to be honest. All right, pens. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pens and two refills. I'm hoping to just use refills from now on, but we'll see. Okay, so we've got a lot of these gel pens. These are mainly from Michael's the Artist Loft, and you can buy like a hundred of them, like a hundred pack for twenty dollars. And I actually don't mind them at all, but um, I find they don't last very long. So if I color with them, then I can only do like one picture coloring with them. So then I usually end up writing in my journal with them, but they don't last very long. They might last a couple pages. So, and, and I said, these are refills. This is from a Simply Gilded Gel Pen. This is from Pen Gems, which is ballpoint. Oh, here's another Pen Gems one. I didn't count that one. I forget what number I was on. So also you can see I use a variety of pens. I got a paper mate flare. The prompt this month was markers. So that was my marker that I used, but I don't tend to use markers that often. So this was a, a little bit of a struggle. I've got a Pilot G2, paper mate enjoy ballpoint. This was the only one I brought out here to Arizona with me, I believe, and I used it up. I do have more in storage back in Massachusetts. I've got a Sharpie, a tool. This is another ballpoint. You can get, these write really smooth. You can get them at Office Max, Office Depot, or you can get them on Amazon. And then a Muji pen. We have a Muji store in Boston, so I like to go there, but you can also get them on Amazon. All right, so that's all my supplies. And then you guys had asked for my journal flip through, because I had said I'm kind of bored of them and I didn't know if you guys were too. Um, so this, I went through this one pretty fast as I do. And again, you don't have to write as much as I do. I just like to share what I've done. So this is a Celtic journal from Peter Popper Press. And I do want to say that, you know, people keep asking me, how can I write as much as you? How can I write as much as you? You don't have to. And another thing is I live alone. So the only person I talk to is my cat, <laughs> unless I'm out and about. Um, and I had some other thoughts, what were they? I'm also older than a lot of you. So I've had a lot more life experiences. Memories come back that I wanna record or thoughts, especially um, having just moved across the country, there's things that are coming into my head that, you know, I might have pushed behind me that are now coming out because I'm in a different place. And there was something else that I wrote. Oh, another reason why I was thinking about 
how I write so much of it. Like I've always written a lot. I used to write poems, uh, creative stories. I've always written to pen pals, that kind of thing. And the other day I was kind of thinking, I wonder if it has to do with the fact that I experienced a lot of trauma before I was verbal. I mean, obviously if I wasn't verbal, I wasn't writing either, but uh, I've always been better with writing than with speaking. So anyway, that's my two cents. And now I'll do this flip through. And uh, once again, it's mostly writing. I might flip through upside down. I know I've showed you guys some of this before, but um, yeah. So I have new camera angle, I keep changing it. I'm never in the same place when I'm doing my video, so it's wherever the tripod ends up. But this is the entry page, just some stickers. And then I was in this one from March 11th to March 22nd, so that's 11 days. And that's pretty typical for me for this size of a notebook. Again, it's a Peter Popper Press, which I, I do enjoy writing in, but for me, it's kind of like a fancy treat. Like I couldn't do just Peter Popper Press notebooks because, um, I mean, I love the paper quality. It's amazing, but it's also not the same feel as like writing right, right now. I'm currently in a composition notebook and like listen to the pages, like the crinkly. I love that. So you don't get that from the Peter Popper Press, but I do enjoy them. I, the designs are amazing and the paper quality is really good. So it's like a special treat. I do have quite a few in my stash, so I'll be going through those. Here's the um, green flare I used. Again, for new people, I'm going to do it this way, <laughs> sorry. Um, washi tape is what I use on every page and usually one little sticker. <laughs> oh Lord, sorry everybody, technical difficulties. Um, that happened actually before I started filming and I stopped and restarted, but I'm not gonna do it this time. And another disclosure, this video is all full of disclosures. I don't edit my videos, I'm just, I'm just Celia, and this is just the way it goes. So anyway, um, I'm just flipping, flipping, lots and lots of writing and different color pens, and sometimes I have ballpoint pens and sometimes I have gel pens and now in my new journal you'll see that I'm using fountain pens so um yeah but I really enjoy going back and seeing the writing. I might not read what it says, but um, it just makes me happy. Oh, I skipped over St. Patrick's Day, which was the whole reason I chose this journal. Anyway, St. Patrick's Day, I was gonna go to the parade, but I decided not to because I just don't like being around crowds of people anymore. So I went to my son's house. He and his girlfriend cooked dinner for us. That was my St. Patrick's Day. Uh, 
Um, what else can I tell you? I write about what mail I'm getting. I write about things that pop into my head, like, um, I'm usually writing when um, I'm watching YouTube videos, which I watch a lot. I don't watch TV or anything else. I watch YouTube. So I'll write about the videos. Like if I was watching one about fountain pens and somebody said they had 23 bottles of ink and I wrote that down. And, um, I think this is when, this is the day I finally ordered a fountain pen, I think. What day was that? I don't know. Again, my washi tape is from a lot of different shops. Okay, we've reached the end. So, um, I always do this for my journals. I put stuff in the back, that way I can just turn and look and see it. And also it doesn't impact my writing, like bulk up the beginning. So I start from the back with things I put in. So journaling card, coffee, um, different stickers and stuff from things. My sticky club order. This is the writing group I'm in. I got this cute elephant note card at my writing group. Um, like this fits from a pouch I bought. I just saved the tag. So you can really put anything in your journal if you want to. I didn't always put all these things in, but now I really like it. Um, this is a savings challenge. So I saved $1,000 in cash. That's from a note card from a letter. Another journaling card. This is the box from these little bunnies that I have from Simply Gilded. I just cut up the box and put it in here. And more. Oh, this was the box from washi tape I got. Cut that up, put it in here because it's really pretty and I like to look at it. And might as well put it in here and not just throw it away. Okay, so thanks for sticking with me with the camera falling over and everything and um, seeing all the empties I had for this month. And I really appreciate everybody who watches my videos. I know a lot of people say that, but it's just shocking to me that anybody would care about me writing in a notebook, but you do because there's so many of us like this out there and it's good to be a part of this community. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.